welcome to this week's edition of the Empathic Designer Podcast. I'm your host, Vaidhi Shwaran. In this week's episode, I'm going to share some tips on generating design ideas on demand. The inspiration for this week's topic came from something that happened at work last week. It was a warm afternoon and I had just left my desk to fix lunch when my phone rang. It was a colleague who wanted to talk to me about a new project. I asked her to email the details so that I could spend the afternoon looking into them and then set up a call the next day to brainstorm. Well, that's when she broke the bad news saying that she was expecting to finalize the design approach by afternoon and asked me if I could help her with some ideas post-lunch. Even when you're working in situations requiring generating design ideas on the fly, there are a few essential things that doesn't change when you work on design ideas. We still need to get a background of the project in terms of the requirement objectives, audience, and the performance environment. In short, the three W's, work, worker, and the workplace. So how do we go about this? I'd recommend adopting the mind mapping approach in such situations. The first step is to identify the one or two core ideas of the project. For each of the core ideas, write down five to six words that you can associate with them. The next step is to branch this further to write two to three more words associated with each of the five to six words you had come up in the previous step. This will result in the creation of a central region of your mind map. Now on either side of this map, write down the details of your audience on one side and the technology on the other. The next step is to connect the three parts of your map. You'll have to connect these words again with a set of words that create this association. It is these words that will play a critical role in generating your design strategy. Once you've identified a set of strategies to work with, the next step is to visualize them in order to ascertain their feasibility and alignment with the client and audience expectations. A quick way to do this is to hit the image search engines. I draw a lot of inspiration from image search engines using the keywords generated from my mind map. If you need to refine your ideas or get into the prototyping mode real soon, another great resource that I would recommend is freepick.com. Freepick has a lot of great design ideas that can be used for inspiration and also has a ton of free and premium resources. During this process, you are bound to stumble upon a bunch of great ideas, although good, might not work for your current project. I'd recommend saving these anyway so that they might come in handy for another project. I usually catalog these ideas into a repository. Over a period of time, you would have created a strong repository of ideas that can be used as a ready reckoner in such situations. Even if they don't exactly give you what you can reuse, it will help you in providing the necessary inspiration for your next great idea. I'll talk to you again next week with another interesting topic. Thank you for tuning into this week's edition of the Empathic Designer Podcast. If you like what you heard, hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. You can hit the bell icon for getting regular updates from my channel. As always, if you have any questions or feedback, please leave a message in the comment section below and I'll be glad to respond. So what else do you do for generating design ideas on the fly? I'd love to hear your thoughts.
Please keep sharing and let's join hands in making our stakeholders world a much better place to be for them. Thank you and have a great day. Thank you.